Now if you love pizza, then get those taste buds ready, because this easy and moist pizza recipe will have you salivating for more. G'day, welcome to Todd's Kitchen. Who doesn't love pizza? They're absolutely delish. Everyone's been having them for years and they're going to keep on having them, but there's more than one way to cook them. Today I'm going to show you a super simple but fabulous way. So join me today as I make my version of pizza in a crock pot. So we're going to start this off by browning our ground beef. So I have a fry pan here on a medium to high heat. So to that I'm going to add one kilo or two pounds of ground beef or mince. And basically just cook it over this medium to high heat just until it's just lightly browned. And of course just keep on chopping it up and stirring it up just to get to that fine bolognese meat consistency. Okay, with our meat nicely browned, next we're going to use our slow cooker or crock pot. So just give it a quick grease. Then we're going to add in our ground beef. Next for some seasoning and taste, we're going to add some garlic salt. So just sprinkle some on top, it's up to you how much you want to use. And season it with just some pepper. Now if you're just using garlic seasoning, obviously you'll add the salt, but this is a garlic salt, so I don't need to add any further salt. And just some chopped up onions. And again, this is all to taste, so add as little or as much as you like. And then I'm going to add in two cups of mozzarella cheese. And just give it a good stir, just to combine all those ingredients. And then on top I'm going to add a 14 ounce or 400 grams of pizza sauce. Now if you don't want to buy pizza sauce, I'll leave a link in the description to my video on how to make your own at home. And then finally, another two cups of a blended pizza cheese. You can also use more mozzarella if you like, but the blended one works out so much better because you've got a few different tastes going on there. And finally, just to add any pizza toppings that you like. So you can use diced bacon, diced ham, pineapple, it's really up to you because the sky's the limit. And once done, just simply cover it up and we're going to put this on low and cook it away on low for four hours. And just wait till you have that lovely smell of pizza filling the whole house from this slow cooker. Okay, so it's been four hours and it smells mm -mm, delicious. One thing I really love about a slow cooker, it just fills the whole house full of that lovely smell. And it smells just like a lovely pizza. So it literally took me no more than 10 minutes to put together. And then just let all the slow cooking do its thing for another four hours and you'll have a very easy, very delicious and I'm not going to say healthy, but I am going to say healthier because you don't have all those extra carbs from the crust. And even without the crust, this slow cooked pizza tastes simply delish. So if you're time poor and you're looking for something different or you want to try a pizza without the extra carbs from that base, give this a go because you will absolutely love it. So thank you for watching this episode of Todd's Kitchen. As always, I'll leave a list of ingredients down below as well as links to my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and Home Handy Hints channel. And please do me a massive favor by giving this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time for another mm -mm delicious recipe.